Hey everybody, Bumbleborg here, coming at you with some more Don't Starve Hamlet. Last time I was murdered by a giant ant queen, and I expect to be murdered by all sorts of fun things this time. <laughs> He's ghost? Well, you know, that's the last thing I sort of need right now, being sassed from beyond the grave. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. I mean, he's totally right. It was an awful landing, but still. Oh, another Iron Hulk piece. That's gotta work on leg day. I mean, come on, bro. It's leg day. You can't skip your legs, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> Do I dare enter the tall grass? Oh, something's moving. That is just the most unpleasant noise. Ah! Oh, they're kind of cute. Some pesky bugs for sure, but still kind of cute. What? Are they, are, are they saying ow? I didn't even hit you. I only hit that one guy. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like a hive mind situation. You know, one of them feels pain. They're all feeling it. Not today. Gonna tunnel away on my watch. <laughs> Think again. I'm surprised they're taking as many hits as they did. So these guys seem like kind of the spider equivalent. Um, maybe if I was using a spear or something, but... Yeah, I would have thought it would be like just uh, three or four hits or something. Which may... I mean, maybe it was four. I just honestly wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> All I know is that the spiders never said ow when you hit them. They just kind of screeched at you all menacing-like. There's never this psychological warfare component where they try and, like, guilt you out of it. So, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it, uh, how's it hanging? Looks like the humidity is not treating you so, so hot, huh? So this is the kind of, kind of the equivalent of like, I'm not touching you. What? Why are you getting so mad? I'm not, no, I'm not standing too close to you. Hey, eh? what's, what's, what's wrong? I'm still not touching you. Except I will be with my machete in just a sec. Watch it. I will punch you, but with my blade. I don't think there is another word for that. I think it is it is a it is a blade punch. Yeah, oh boy, we might be here for a while. Just gotta like chase him into a corner or something. Look, when I say that I'm gonna blade punch somebody, I I mean it. You know, there's no... Whoa. What do we have here? Now this is a guy who doesn't skip leg day. Oh. Oh, hello and, and goodbye. <laughs> these, these weak fluffs need to be blade punched. I'm guessing I can probably trap them like you do with the rabbits. Maybe I can make like a little, uh, little squirrel suit or something like that, a little squirrel hat. Whoa, this guy's looking to toke up, all right. Uh, no, I don't, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. Also, maybe keep it down. The guards are right there. The guy has, like, exactly zero chill. Um, so I still haven't run into, like, the pig village yet. I'm, I'm hoping I'll do that soon in my wandering. Ooh, I bet I can, like, corner this guy in here, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. 
There's a lot happening right now, and I missed my chance to kill him, but there is uh, maybe some more... Whoosh, geez, some more pressing matters. No! Dung beetle buddy! You monster. Um, right. So this guy is, uh, is, al is alive and kicking for some reason. Oh, actually. Did he, um, also, do you want to, like, fight him at any point? Or did he get, like, struck by lightning by that dude? Because if so, that is pretty awesome. Uh, just gonna... Rebuild. Oh, he's out of juice. Well, <laughs> we can't be having that. Oh, and we we also can't be having uh, rock thievery. You know, getting blasted by a laser and burning down the guard tower is a okay. But as soon as a guy takes a rock, <laughs> yeah, this guy knows where his priorities lie. So we're just gonna overlook the fact that I was able to take the rocks because he. Burn down the the gate, um, and and set you on fire. Is he? Uh, nope. He's still. I was gonna say. Is <laughs> oh boy. I can see him doing like the calculus in his head. Like, okay, I'm being actively murdered by a, a giant robot, but this guy also took some stones. He picked up some pebbles off the ground. Which which one do I do I stop? I mean, come on. I kind of I'm I'm really surprised he isn't dead yet though. I don't know if he just has like a ton of health or what. Or if like maybe the armor is just like really protects him. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> And I got a sweet new halberd. Just call me Jim Halberd. Oh, oh shoot. Did some rapid fire lasers there. It, di it didn't seem like it was giving me the option to attack him though, so I don't know if I need like a certain, just a different item to do it, presumably. Cause yeah, just to, it had me examine him. So I don't really know like, if that wouldn't work, uh, maybe like a hammer or something, something that would do like blunt damage instead of something that would cut. I don't know if, if I'm just way overthinking it. Can't believe I didn't kill that bird. Hello, hello. What's all this thing? Ooh, a spooky hole. And a spooky fern. Oh, good. <laughs> a million giant bats. What could go wrong? All right, well, I'll have to stick close and see if said bats start flying out. Hmm. Doesn't look like I'm getting any bats. Can't can't drop any rocks on their heads to to wake them up. If I just take down this load-bearing pillar, that'll get me some bats. I mean, it's not that I want the bats per se. It's just if, if a guy has promised a million bats, then he he kind of wants to see a million bats. So even though I'm I'm mining something I can't see, I'm, uh, this is a, a, a real don't starve hack for you all. Okay, so it's just gonna be Ooh. gonna proceed very cautiously here. I don't know if this is gonna just like outright kill me. Oh. Very, very gingerly. Oh. Okay. Oh, uh. uh, 
earthquake. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll take. Oh, jeeps. Whoop. Ah, shoot. There's a there's a lot of noises. There's a lot going on. Oh God. Some unholy noises. Oh, some kind of mutant ladybug. And uh, some scorpions. Which I want to see if they have like any special name. I know maybe now isn't really the best time. But I do like to see... Oh, I'm, I'm sure it is poisonous. Just a little... Too, too little too late on that front. Okay. Oh, Alright. Oh, just scorpion. Okay, so not uh, not super worth it. Ooh, okay, venom gland. Um, I'll have to look it up to, to double check, but I think I can I think I can cure my poison that way. And yeah, that's that's too bad about the scorpion name. I thought maybe they they came up with some some cute little combination of things like they they usually do, but can't win them all, I guess. You know, buddy, I've been kind of moonlighting as a barber on the side. I, uh, can, can take a, a little bit, uh, just off the top if you want. If you want to, if you want to uh, try the, the unshaved look, get rid of that stash. Get rid of that caterpillar on your lip. Uh, just, just let me know. Seems to be the real go-to look around here. Um, but sometimes you just, just gotta march to the beat of your own drum. Facial hair wise. So yeah, I was able to, uh, oh wow, there's a lot going on right here. Okay, let's see, can move this, I uh, don't really have to worry about that. Alright, first things first. Just blind this guy real quick. And let's enter. Oh wow, oh, we got two load-bearing things this time. And still no millions of bats. Exa two load-bearing pillars and zero millions of bats. Oh great. Um, but yeah, so I did... Ugh, I did cure my poison by consuming the venom gland. Whoops. Ah, shoot. It just ended up leaving me with, like, five health. Um, and I was gonna- I was going to claw my way back up to the, t the tippy top of, of- of health and wellness, but that, uh, did not pan out, as you just saw. I've made it to the center of the jungle. Oh, and a ruinous entrance. That sounds, uh, sounds great. Oh. <laughs> so th there are all these little tiles that I could step on there. And I don't, I'm not seeing, like, where a trap would be. Because there's no... There's no like darts in the wall, so that wouldn't that wouldn't get me. Um, I don't think anything could really come from the ceiling, but I don't know. Maybe like drop some scorpions on my head or something. Uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll scope out the rest of the the rest of this temple first. Ooh, so tempting. Can't. Uh, can't take you with me, though. I wish I could. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I can, I can light these things on fire, apparently, so that might make it a little easier. Okay. All right. All right. Just gotta time this out. 
Let's, uh, let's take care of these guys now. Ugh. Oh, thought I was going to take many more hits than that with a torch. Okay, okay. See, it's, it's, it's working. Definitely an unconventional method of tomb raiding, but whatever works. I should maybe hurry up, though, before uh, all the fire goes out. Okay, and I can already. Ooh! I was gonna say, I can already see the thing there. Jeez. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's really anything special in here, anyways. There's no even. There's no treasure, even. There's just a stupid dart trap right off the. right off the bat. That's just mean. Yep. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, shh. Sh I'm gonna. I'm gonna light these on fire just so I don't, like, accidentally. Myself killed on them coming on the way out or anything like that. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this this temple is certainly playing for keeps. Well, now I, I have to know uh, if anybody knows what all those tiles would have done in that first room. Uh, kindly let me know in the comments because I am. Curious. I mean, I'm sure it would have been just another way for me to brutally die, but still. Anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for this session. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.